Hello and welcome to the very first Tatty Treasures Jewelry Box How to Make video. Today I will be showing you how simple and easy it is to make your very own drop earrings. You will need the following. Flathead pins. They kind of look like a nail at the top. You can just see that. These come in all lengths and widths. These are about 25mm and not suitable for things like seed beads which are the really tiny beads. You're also going to need an earring hook, well a pair preferably, unless you've only got the one piercing. Everybody's got a pair of earrings with these on. A jump ring. Now these are quite big, I wouldn't usually use these but for the purpose of today I'm going to use these, the smaller the better, preferably. Beads, of course no earring is completely without beads. These are about 6mm, perfect for what we're doing today. And to go along with it, I've brought along a smaller bead, about 2-3mm. These will go perfect with the larger bead. You're also going to need needle nose pliers. These are for connecting the earring hook, jump wire and the earring body together. You're also going to need wire cutters. It just in case the flathead pin is too large and you've got a bit left over. Now, to start with, take your flathead pin and place the beads on. a little bit big which mine is take your wire cutters and I'm going to cut about a millimetre off this always remember to throw your bits in the bin you don't want people treading on sharp, sharp bits or anything now the next bit you take your needle nose pliers and you place them at the very top of the head pin when you roll, it's all in the wrist. Now, it may take a couple of times, but you'll do it. Don't worry if it comes out looking like that. Kind of a P shape. You don't really want that. So, if you get this, put your pliers back in the hole, you take your thumb, the left side, and you push forward and you push, bring the pliers back. So you get sort of a kink. Just seal off the gap. So you should get that. Now, Take a jump ring between your thumb and forefinger at 10 o'clock. Your pliers at 2 and you pull apart like this. So, kind of close. You take the earring body and thread it through. So, you get that. You also take the earring hook, thread it on the same way. When you put both on, put your thumb and forefinger back at 10 o'clock, your pliers back at 2, you push together to seal the jump ring. Hold by the top of earring hook and then you should have it for the pair you just repeat thank you for watching